Welcome back, friends and family. Welcome back to another episode of Factorio. Oh, baby, I got some stuff crafting for this episode. We're going to take a big step in, in as comparison to advancing our automation. So, yeah, as you can see, I'm making some labs. And also, I'm making a crap load of electric mine drills because we have power now. There's no reason why we should be still using these crappy burner drills. We, we need to start using electric. It's a lot more efficiently and a lot better. So, yeah. Let's see, I got a, I got two labs I want to place down. They take 60 kilowatts, so I'm going to place them over here. Boom. Powered. Uh, let's put them... Can we put them together? Boom. So, they'll stay powered like that, right? Alright, and so I made some... I started a research of automation. Yeah, automation requires 10 science packs. So what you need to do is you need to put the science packs in there. And it's going to use those science packs. As you can see, automation is starting to progress. And as soon as it progresses, we're going to unlock... Uh, we're going to unlock assembly line. And we're going to unlock a long-handed inserter, which is going to be really useful for the conveyor belts. So yeah, we got lots of stuff going. We got lots of stuff planned for this episode. So let's get it going. All right, so let's see. I got me some electric drills made. I want to place one. Um, where do I want to place one at? I want to place one where I will get the good. Let's see. Place one there. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna put them together. Boom. 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 So we got five or. We got four placed right here. So you can see they're not powered. Oh, you need you need coal. Give me coal. Wait. Oh yeah, this one's not being fed in coal, so that's all right. All right, so let's get rid of this. We don't need this anymore. We can t start to take some of this out now. Alright, so with our conveyor belts, what we're gonna do, let's see here. Um, yeah, we're gonna go like this. And what we're gonna do with the other drills is we're gonna go like this. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, I don't have enough. I, well, yeah, I can make another. I can make some. Sweet! Okay, so automation is complete. So now if we open up a crafting tab, you can see we can make an assembly machine, which is the same thing as assembly line. Alright, so we don't need all this anymore. Let's get rid of that. Um, give me some iron. Let's make a few more drills. I'd like to get all of this area covered with drills. See, there's not a lot of uh, iron right there. So I don't know if it'd be worth it. I mean, I guess it'd be would be worth it. Let's see how much? How would we? How much would we get? Uh, 10k actually. That wouldn't be so bad. Oh, we'll go ahead and place it. Why not? All right, let's keep this going out. Let's just go out like that. Okay, we're not going to power this area just yet. All right. Um, I think what I'm going to do is let's see. See, we can't make any better furnaces at the moment. So let's go into electronics. What? Um, actually, no. What about logistics? What do we get for logistics? Okay, so that's going to be for when we get trains going. The optics, solar panels, lasers, turrets, stone walls, landfill, refining, steel processing. That's going to be a good one. Um, a tool belt. So it's, re it's going to require a hundred red packs and a hundred green packs. So we're not really that advanced at the moment, so we're not going to go with that. Let's see here. Um, let's see, I believe there is something that would. I forgot what it's called. I now there's something that we can research and it would give us. See, those are rockets, cars, Let's 
Let's see, I forgot what it's called, but there is a electric or no. It's a steel furnace. Oh, okay, okay, uh, yeah. So under the steel tab, there should be something called. Uh, I'm not really sure. See, I know if you get this one, you can unlock the steel processing. I'm gonna go ahead and set that to research real quick. Um, see, I don't have enough. I can't really make enough sci red science packs. To see, so you need you need 50. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and make those. They're gonna take a little while to make, but that'll be okay. Alright, so I guess we're going to come to steel with stone furnaces for now. It's not really what I want to do, but... Yeah. It'll, that's what we're going to have to do for now. Alright. Instead of using these uh, coal using inserters, we can now make just inserters. So we need more copper. That's not a big problem. Yes, it is a big problem. Oh my lord, it is a big problem. Let me guess, we're out of coal down there. I guess, that's what I'm guessing. Alright, so... I guess what I should do is replace those down there with electric drills. That mean I'd have to run wiring all the way down there. But that's alright. Yeah, yeah. We're out of power down here, so we need to get this fixed real quick. Um... I'll go ahead and replace the electric one here. Um, the good thing about these is you don't have to have a... Yeah, okay, so like that. Okay, so I can make... Alright, so I need more wood for the electric poles. Alright, that's fine, I guess. We're not using it. We're not, like, these furnaces are not going to be... These electric drills, I'm sorry, are not going to be using a lot of power or really needing a lot of power, so we'll be fine with that in that category. But once we get, like, upgrading chips into the furnaces and when we get electric uh, drills and all that stuff going, like more advanced electric drills and furnaces, that's going to really require a lot of power. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to be hectic. It's going to be really crazy. Let's make all the poles. We need more copper for wiring. Can't really do that at the moment. I gotta wait for all these science packs to finish making before I can do anything. Right, let's go ahead and drop you in there. Oh geez, this is gonna be a little while. Right, so let's keep these fueled for now. metal, iron, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so we have a good bit more science packs to make. Oh, there we go. Yep, see, now they're requiring power. So, let's see, each, each one of these engines is burning at 100 degrees. I think if the more boilers you have, the hotter it gets and the more power is, if I'm correct. But yes, we need to keep those boilers running at all times. Very important. And the good thing is we don't have to keep making pumps. All we have to do is connect more boilers to, any, to the end of those. Because the water, like, I don't know how that works, but the water will just go like through the engines and it'll just fill these up. It's really awesome. Alright, let's put fuel in all of those. Whoops. Need more coal. Gotta make sure that we have enough electricity going through. Alright, so all of them are, have a stack of coal in them. 
We're gonna make two more engines, which is gonna contribute to these two engines, which is gonna basically give us a crap load of power. So yeah, it's gonna be really worth it. See, if we want to check how much power we have, well, this is how much our network, electric network is, 60 kilowatts, that's our satisfaction, we're pro producing 60 kilowatts. We got to make sure that we keep the satisfaction at a, green, at a stable level. You can see how much each, uh, what's taking how much power. So like the two labs is taking like, what? Well, it's not new. it's not using any power now because it doesn't have any more science packs, so it stopped working. So, boom. And that should finish that upgrade, so that way we can start making steel eventually. Okay, now we have a lot of cables being made. Let's see, we need to start running cables down there. Very important. So we need to make use of each cable use its max distance. I think it's like seven like blocks or squares that you can go. Oh, we should have enough. No reason not to. Whoops. The distance on these is very terrible. I know eventually you can get the steel uh, tower, or I think they're just called steel tower, power line towers or whatever they're called, and they'll, they'll, they'll boost it a bit. They, they're like, you'll be able to go f a very far distance on one like line, which would help a lot. Right, so we just need one more line, boom. Now you are mining coal, just by using power. You can see that's using 89 kilowatts. Boom, we got steel. And this is what we can get. If we get this upgrade, we get the steel furnace, which is a lot faster. So it's going to require 75 red and 75 green. We're not there yet, so that's going to be a little while. Um, can I make more inserters? I need more copper. That's fine. I'll just go ahead and re upgrade this one. And now you can see it went on the grid chart, which these inserters don't use that much power, so it's not going to be a big deal. And if we need to, we can go up here and get more, make more power. It's so dark, I hate it. We can put lights up, but we don't have that unlocked at the moment. All right, so let's go ahead and put two more engines down. Boom! We're gonna have to redo this wiring boom so now we can see we have a lot more power going through the lines and basically you can just keep on doing that like as long as you want so it's not really that bad now since we have four boilers we can actually put a a third engine on this one because it's, it, it only can go up to 100 degrees no matter what. So you're not going to really get anything by putting in any more than three st at a time. So we need to move these labs real quick. All right, we need to put power line. Like that. And then we'll just move the labs like that. And that will give us a, like a good area to put more steam. Put more... Uh, stuff down oh no we gotta move this out the way this needs to go move thank you very much uh, we'll just put it like that and we can stack like crap loads of engines but I think I'm just gonna stick with three boilers for right now I'm not gonna power those right now that can wait Alright, so I know if we're gonna. We should probably hook up these miners to the grid. Boom, boom. Okay, now you guys are working like bosses. Boom, boom. Okay, so they're all mining. 
Great. So you can see that the satisfaction is still good. That's very important. Just keep the satisfaction up. It's very important. Okay. So now that we have copper, we can make a a powered inserter. Uh, that yeah. So let's go ahead and make a lot of inserters. Cause we're gonna need them. And can I make any more engines? Yes, I can. Let's go ahead and make three more engines. Let's go ahead and get these these last bottom boilers cooking. Then we can start putting electric drills on the coal deposits. All right, boom! Give me that engine. Boom. Number two. Number three. Boom. So that way we have all of these producing power as well. And hopefully we won't have a power shortage. All right, so what I think I'm gonna do, <laughs> move these again. I know I said I was gonna keep them there, but we're not gonna keep them there. Actually, they should come down I don't really know. Where should I put them at? I'm gonna put them out here, over here, out of the way. Eventually, we'll have it automated. We'll move them eventually later on, but I just need lots of room for this area right now. All right, let's make a bunch of furnaces. I don't think we'll need any more power, so I'm not gonna. I'm not going to make any more engines and boilers. Alright, so let's go ahead and put these drills out the way. Let's get them out of the way. We don't need them anymore. Nope. Oh, this needs to go back one. Turn. Oops. Turn you around. You need to go like that. Well, let's just keep them symmetrical. Okay, let's hook these to the grid. Okay, now we have a little bit of another problem now. Okay, so we're gonna have to take, not really of a, it's actually kind of a good problem. Let's actually, let's disconnect those. Let's stop them for now. Okay, we're gonna distribute them out that way. Not in the grid area. Boom. Perfect. Now, what I th I'm thinking about doing is. Going like that. Uh huh. And this should work. Yeah, okay. Let's just have them. Actually, can we make any better chests yet? Yes, we can. Actually, don't put them in the wood chests. Give me some iron chests real quick. A lot more space in them so we'll just have the iron automatically going into chests just to be stored make it a lot more better so it's always producing no matter what all right Let's see we got power out down there and I believe that the stone mining is out is out of or coal so we might as well go ahead and put a electric uh, miner down here we should have enough telephone poles I hope so or at least we better 
disconnect yourself. Oh yeah, we'll have enough. All right. So let's go ahead and get rid of you. Put my last drill down. 14,000 stone. We will never need that much, just to be honest with you. I don't think so. Unless we go crazy making concrete and stuff. So yeah, let's just do keep it like that for now. So yeah, we're doing lots of work. We finally have electricity. We're in the electric age. So yeah, we are off to a good start. Um, I'm thinking of what we need to fix. So I, yeah, I guess so. I guess the coal area is gonna have to just go, like be the next one to be upgraded. Okay, 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 okay. I, get, I get what I'm going to do now. Okay, so we don't need these anymore. Let's just get rid of all of them. They're wasting our time. Well, don't mind a coal. I mean, that'd be nice, but you're too slow anyway. Alright, let's just get rid of all these drills. We don't need them. Clear this area up. Give me you, give me it, give me it all. Every last piece. Boom. Okay, now we can we can start. Okay, so let's make all the electric drills that we can. So let's put them all right there. And we got an overflow of coal going into that. That's fine. But I think what I want to do is, come on, furnace or drills, you got to make them faster. Let's see, I have four inserters. We're going to need more, so we're going to need more iron. So let me go ahead and grab some iron real quick. Let's grab the rest of it. Let's see, how is the power doing? Power is absolutely amazing. Let's see, 12 drills is 240, around 230 kilowatts, and inserters are barely doing anything. The steam engines, though, are producing just enough power. Okay, so we got our engines made. All right. We got enough coal stored up for now. We don't need this anymore. Not until I figure out how I want to do this. Let's see. So we need to make this. We need to keep this efficient. Okay. So if I grab my conveyor belts, I would like to go straight out the middle of this coal deposit, but we really can't. So um, we might have to do multiple. See, if I keep it on the edge, it's going to mine coal first and then iron next. Right? Let's just keep it mining coal for now. Okay, so we won't be able to keep it all symmetrical. And that's fine. All right, just a little bit of coal iron makes them won't be won't really hurt it that much. All right, let's go ahead and go up like that. Give me that back. All right, so if we have it going like that, and then we put our second side like that all right let's make five more drills it didn't make any more did it no okay fine um, let's have it go around Whoop. 
trees in the way. Get out the way. Go do some landscaping around here. All right. Oh, geez, that was a lot of coal. Okay, that's fine. Let's see. It's going to put all the coal into that chest right there. So we'll have to do it as best as we can. Boom. Boom. Okay, so we need to provide power to that one. Alright, so that's a lot of coal coming in. A lot faster, shoot, too. Alright, so we still can't make a splitter yet, which is fine. And it's understandable for when you first start playing, but. Uh, in order to make the green packs, you have to have transport belts already. You need a transport belt and an electric inserter. So that's where we're going to need these assembly lines at. Oh, we're running out of coal down here. i got to keep these filled. Now, I could automate that easily where each boiler is filled with coal automatically. But... I think we'll focus that off camera. That's something I'll probably do off camera. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab some iron real quick. I want to do this next assignment that I have on my agenda. And to remind you that I'm playing on how I feel I would do it. So you guys that are playing could do it any way you want. Alright, let's make... Let's just make all of the some of the machines that we can make. This is what this area up here is going to be for. So let's clear out some more forest. We need to leave a little room for machines up here. All right, so let's go ahead and place down an assembly line. Boom. Now, what he's going to be, what this guy's going to be doing is he's going to be making transport belts. Okay. Actually, you can't make transport belts because you need iron plates. So, we don't have to do anything other than make an assembly line where it's making iron gear wheels. So, let's go over here, click iron gear wheels. Okay, so now all I have to do is uh, power this dude over here. Boom. And he's set on gear wheels. Okay. That's what's going to be making. So we need to. Actually, we don't need this. This front is a uh, guy's going to be used. Oh my Jesus. I'm out of conveyor belts. All right, so we need to drag these up over here. All right, so boom, boom. There we go. Put an inserter. He's gonna give that. He's gonna give this one iron plates, and he's gonna make iron gear, iron gear wheels. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here. He's not powered. That's okay. He's gonna come out this way. Let's go ahead and power in my last pole. All right, so that's gonna go on conveyor belts. Um, I actually need some iron plates. Cause I think we'll have to put some in long handed inserters for this. So if we wanna put a assembly machine right here, we're gonna put that one right there. And what he is going to do is he is going to make, let's see. 
Oh, I just said. Uh... Yeah, yeah, okay. So he is going to make the transport belts, right? Okay. So let's give me some more power poles. Boom. Now he set for the conveyor belts, right? Ugh. Okay. This is not efficient at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to take... We're going to take another furnace. Place it right there. Give it coal because it's all we're using for now, right? And he's going to. Whoops, he's going to put that, those iron plates on conveyor belts. We need more conveyor belts, so let's get that crafted. Which is requiring a lot of iron. So let's go ahead and. Yeah, let's just go ahead and keep those. Going into chests for the side. All right, so forty. Let's have this going this way, and let's power that guy up. Now he is going to provide iron plates and if we I don't know okay it works so now I'm getting now it's automating iron tra or the transport belts right okay now what we need to do is take another inserter flip flop it around go like this I actually don't think it has to be that far boom so now I am getting a f influx of transport belts. So it's automating this. So as long as everything is going fine, I will have uh, conveyor belts be made up. Okay. So let's go ahead and help this because we're being clogged right now with uh, all this iron. We don't have enough. This isn't being smelted fast enough, so it's okay. Uh, I need some more inserters. Okay, so give me that guy. Actually, can I put him? Yeah, I can. Good. Actually, we can do it like that so where it's just one belt a lot more efficiently. <clears throat> so with the spider web, like with all the telephone poles, it's gonna eventually turn into cobwebs, like spider webs with full lines. Okay, so we can go ahead and put a few more furnaces now. So it'll have to be like that, facing that way. Okay, so let's try to keep it symmetrical here. Okay. So now we, we're backed up on iron plates, right? Because it's not making any more up here. It's always a good problem to have, okay. Um, I 
No, this game has me confused right now. This game is... I'm confused right now. Oh my goodness, I'm confused. Okay, so we don't really need to make any more laps, okay? Um, what is it that I was wanting to make? Oh jeez, I forgot. Oh my gosh, I forgot what I was doing. Oh my gosh. I think we should just put these in chesses. So let's just store... Just keep it going in the chest, that's fine. Okay, so we now we have our first assembly line set up. So we got... If you're confused on what's going on like I am, you got iron plates going into an assembly line. You got them... It's, it's making gear wheels. Gear wheels are going into the second assembly line with plates and then it's converting into... Transport belts. Simplest way I could put it. Okay, I felt like there was something else I was just about, supposed to make. I'm not really sure, I'm confused. I don't believe so. Okay, no. That, that's fine for that setup. Hey, what's... Oh. Okay, that's not really what I want. Okay, that's not good at all. I really don't want iron in the system. Okay, so the system is clogged. We can unclog it really easily. Just need more inserters and more iron. It's not like we can make enough iron around here fast enough. Alright, so we need to help this guy out a little bit. So this guy is struggling. So let's go down the line a little bit. Place one. Plop. Uh, no. Boom. Okay, so that is going to help this out. And then I need another iron chest. Boom. And then come down here, do the same thing. Boom. So basically, I'm just making everything a lot more efficient for everything. Okay, so these guys are running out of coal very fast. And that's the problem I hate about these uh, boilers because they require so much coal. But that's basically why I automated the conveyor belts because we're going to need a lot of conveyor belts. And another reason why I ought to make conveyor belts because we needed to make them for the science packs. But I think what I'll do for the science packs is this area will be for the green sign. So basically all I have to do is oh geez. Uh, what I have to do is set up a a second assembly line making iron gear wheels again and then a, se a third assembly line producing electric circuits from copper and iron as well. Oh geez, you guys are probably 
confused right now, huh? Yeah, this game gets confusing. When you have to automate each small thing by thing, it gets confusing. And your area you're going to be using is... In, it's, it's crazy on how much area you're going to be using throughout the game. Oh geez, but yeah, most of this I'm gonna I'm gonna do a lot of work off camera, so that way in the in the third episode you guys can see what I've done and how I've done it, because uh, I'm gonna try to make this a lot more efficient than basically just make it a lot more efficient. Because right now it's bugging me on how much space we're using, so I don't know. I'll try to bug it down a little bit, make it more efficient, but. I don't know. We'll, we'll, you guys will see you in the, in the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to leave a like on the video. And so we'll see you guys next time. Peace out.